Hello everyone, welcome back to Tina Teach Grade 1 Math Statistics. Welcome to today's lesson. What we'll be learning today is uh, counting uh, number sense, the lessons that we've learned previously, and then figuring out, you know, like the statistics of what uh, people like and people don't like. So we have uh, a bunch of uh, kids here, and they've all answered the question, what do you like to do at the pier? You can roller skate, you can skateboard, or you can uh, do bicycle, right? And uh, let's count how many kids want to uh, do the bicycle, or how many kids want to do the skateboard or the roller skate, okay? So as for the roller skate, we have one girl over here. She says she likes to roller skate, so I'm gonna put the number one over here. Next up is skateboard. How many skateboards do you see uh, in the speech bubbles right now? It's one, two. So there are two people that like to skateboards. Two, okay. Uh, last, bicycle. How many kids like to ride on the bicycle at the pier? Let's count, one, Two. So there are two people who likes to do bicycle at the pier, okay? Two. And that is our number. One person likes to do the roller skate, two persons likes to do the skateboard, and another two would like to uh, drive a bicycle. Let's move on to the next part. Now, what do you like to do at the beach? The three following activities are playing with sand or making a sand castle, uh, playing with a beach ball and swimming, okay? So let's see how many kids like to go swimming, how many kids like to uh, play with a beach ball and how many kids would rather just build a sand castle at the beach. Okay, first off, let's do the sand castle, okay? There's only one kid over here who would like to do the sand castle. So I'm gonna put the number one here Next up, beach ball. Once again, there's only one kid who would like to play with the beach ball at the beach. Another number one. As for swimming, let's start counting. One, two, three. There are three kids that would love to go swimming at the beach instead. So I'm going to put number three over here. Uh, so let's do a quick recount. I'm going to erase all of this. So there are three kids who would love to go swimming. There's only one kid who would love to play with a beach ball and another one kid that would love to play with a sandcastle. Let's move on to the next part. So this is the last part of our uh, lesson for today. We'll be coloring a box on the graph to show each vote. And then we'll circle the one with the most votes, okay? Uh, I'm going to use the color red, right? And let's go first with the beach ball, this one. How many kids would love to play with the beach balls? Do you remember? There's only one kid, okay? So I'm going to color only one rectangle. Sandcastle, how many kids would love to play with sandcastles at the beach? There's only one. So I'm going to color the rectangle that's next to the previous one. The last part of this graph, swimming. Do you remember how many kids would love to go swimming at the beach? Let's go back and see. There are three color, three rectangles. One, two, and three. As for our next graph, our first item is roller skate. How many kids would love to roller skate at the pier? That is our first uh, exercise. There's only one, okay? As I've done before, I'm gonna color in one. Second to the roller skate is a skateboard. How many kids would love to skateboard instead of roller skate or bicycle? Do you still remember? There are two, okay? One rectangle, two rectangles. Last but not least, the bike. How many kids would love to have the bike at the pier? 
There are two, two kids who would love to bike at the pier, okay? Once again, one rectangles, two rectangles. That's it for statistics. Our next topic will be all about patterns. We'll be making a return with number sense. Uh, I hope you would check that out. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. And remember to like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time. Learn today better tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.